Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm John Carlin. And I'm Rachel Lucas. Childcare is an issue that stretches far beyond our area. Across the country, families are battling to not just find affordable childcare, but to find it at all. 10 News anchor Abby Coleman is working for you to see why the problem especially hits hard in rural areas. Stories that I can tell about families desperately needing care. Misty Camden has dedicated her career to helping families and children. Why I do what I do is ministry to me. As the executive director of Yellow Brick Road Early Learning Center in Lexington, she sees the problems families face firsthand. We are at max capacity of 88. Um, we have 94 on our wait list. VBQ5 has a map showing where every registered child care facility is in the state. You can see Yellow Brick Road, but there are only two others listed for the entirety of Rockbridge. We are the only infant provider in the area that takes um, six weeks to age one. So, and we only have eight spots for that. That's huge. It's not just an issue in Rockbridge. Across the country, affordable, accessible childcare is few and far between. But Brian Brown with SIRCAP tells me the county is in a unique position that makes things even harder. We have 5,700 children mm -hmm. in this community. And when you think about the number of slots we have in daycare, it's less than 10% of those. And when childcare isn't in place, it begins to affect businesses and the economy as a whole. Rockbridge has an aging population, and without young families with children coming in, Brown says the future is uncertain. Losing young families is something that is detrimental to our growth and development. Devin Jurnett is a fellow with the International Economic Development Council. He's working with leaders in the area to find the root of the problem and fix it. So far, they've had a survey to pinpoint the issues and community meetings to discuss possible solutions. Being able to rebuild the child care will help the employers in the area, will help build, bring people in, help bring in new jobs and new employers by having a sustainable child care system. In Rockbridge County, Abby Coleman, 10 News, working for you.